How's it going? We're back again uh, for another VDC recap video, this time at round five at VDC Wall, uh, second to last round of the 2023 season. Um, it's been a difficult one, but we're getting through it. Uh, another top 16 appearance, not the best. Kind of wanted to go past the top 16. Uh, never been past top 16 VDC. Um, I don't know what it is. Nerves, something, a curse. I don't really know. Something. But before we get into the video, I just want to bring up something really quick. Now, I don't want to be that type of guy, but I have launched a, I guess, lifestyle brand sort of thing called Sly Culture Apparel. Um, right now, we're only on Etsy. I plan to move everything over to Shopify within the next week. But uh, we have a lot of anti-takeover stuff, uh, just some uh, lifestyle clothing as well. With the branding site culture, if you could do me a favor, you don't have to buy anything. You just go down, click the link down below, uh, first link in the description. Go check some things out. Maybe you do want to buy something. Um, it supports me, it supports the channel. 10% of all revenue is going to be donated to a charity. Um, whatever that charity may be, it could be a car accident victim, a uh, driven to cure type charity. It could be some sort of charitable thing. Every month at the end of the, each month, I'm gonna donate 10% of all revenue. So that's not profit. So this shirt that sells for $15, $1.50 will be donated to any of those charities. Um, I'm just trying to, you know, spread a positive message, uh, bring some positivity. But yeah, let's get into the video, VDC round five. Uh, we got some drone footage today. I'm super excited to show that. But yeah, let's get right into it. So this is qualifying run number one. I got an 88.3. My teammate Kevin Stump getting an 89.3 on the first run. I was quite hesitant coming to the wall. I felt very low. Uh, I made the comment after the run. I was like, oh, I was too low on the wall. But um, putting the car where I needed to be in the most part, I wasn't super committed. Uh, a little over that yellow line there, so a bit of a deduction. But coming in a little too inside here as well, 88.3 makes sense. Was not a good run. Coming in to run two, though, I got a 92.3. Teammate Kevin Stone getting a 90. As you can see, I'm right up there, right up there on the wall, right off the bat. Tapping the brakes a little bit, getting nice and settled. Coming through this intersection, I don't seem very snappy. Um, once again, I was quite nervous, a little scared being the first group. Judges are still warming up. I'm still warming up. Uh, you just got to set the pace for the rest of the rest of the lo lobbies. But a little bobble there. Uh, sets me in 92.3. Kind of lucky getting 92.3. But let's check out the drone cam. Here's where you can see a great perspective. Thanks to Dials FPV. Coming up right on the wall. I'm right there. Tapping the brake a little bit. Nice and high on the wall the whole time. Inner clip right there. Here is where I have a little bit of a mess up. As you can see, I'm nice and outside. I come in a little bit and I come back outside. I'm not on that line the entire time. Coming in through this section, I'm nice and committed. A tire going over that white line. As you can hear, the throttle commitment. I wasn't committed to the throttle. I bogged the car down a little bit. It messed me up. So, with a 92.3, I landed against Masasu Yoshida. Uh, me landing 27th, him landing 6th. I just need to be right on him throughout this chase run. Me getting chase first. I'm right there on the bank. Giving a little bit of a gap. Playing a little safe. He bounces here a bit, which I noticed during practice. He wasn't the fastest, but he's quite smooth around the track. Putting down pretty consistent lead run. I was right there the whole time. Pretty much in that pocket. Not getting super close to the door. Here I try to close it in. I have to back off a little bit. That Japanese driver ping kind of drive me a little bit crazy, but it's all okay because in the lead, I pretty much gap him off the start line. I got my launches down pretty good. Uh, he catches right up to me. Um, he surges right onto me. I'm just trying to lay down the best lead run I possibly can. Um, he is quite stabby when it comes to proximity. Coming in back and forth, back and forth, not having all the angle not matching me as well. Um, but he's right on me through that last outer zone. Give me a few taps. Kind of messing me up a little bit. But in that run, I get the win. Next up, I'm against Ernestus Jacubelias. I don't know how to say his name, but once again, I'm going to chase first. I get left off the start line, as you can see here. I have to dive up. I have to lack a lot of angle. As you can see, I'm almost straight in that outer bank, but 
we are coming down and we are right there again uh, he was so fast in practice i was i was not ready for how good he he is uh he's seeing about seventh in points right now but i run a little wide there again i try to do a little little throttle trick but it just didn't work so let's take a look at the drone cam thick styles fpv once again for having all this amazing media out for us drivers so accelerating i do a bit of a burnout here i get left behind uh oh so i have to catch up pull out a lot of angle i'm basically straight right there uh, i didn't want to hit him i thought i definitely was but we come into here uh i'm not on his door i have to cut a little bit I'm trying to get up there, uh, just using half throttle, not a ton of angle. Here, I slam the throttle, try to get up in the door, and I'm messing up, have to push back. So I'm at a disadvantage at this point, moving into my lead run. So my lead run, I was at a disadvantage. The best thing I could do is basically put down the lead run on my life, which I felt like I did a pretty good job. Uh, as I say that, I'm a little low on the bank right there. But... Hit this inner clip pretty nicely. He has a little gap on me, but that's okay. He's basically right on my door. He's doing everything I should have done. He's basically inside my wheel well at this point. Uh, doesn't mess up this transition. That's pretty good. I was hoping maybe here he could hit me, but he, he's not. No, he's just, he's right on my door. He's there. And here's the drone cam footage just to really secure the bag of how I did and the lights will go out eventually. Here they go. And I'm off. I try to run away from him, but he is right there. He's got that throttle input down nice and well. He's on me. He is angle matching me a little bit, but you know, gets back into it. Uh, he's right in the battle right here. I mean, he is on my door. He is in it to win it right now. Does hit me a little there and does pull out a little bit of angle, but the proximity is unmatched. Um, especially in those replay cams, it looks like he is right on my door, which is, of course, handing him the victory. And yeah, so an exit in the top 16, not something I was looking forward to. Uh, I was hoping to go at least to the grade 8 this round, but it is what it is. Uh, I felt like I've driven the best I have all season this round, so moving into round 6, I feel pretty confident. Uh, this weekend, Super Drift UK, so more content coming with that series. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Click the first link down in the description if you're interested in anything uh, that I was talking about in the beginning of this video. Um, you don't have to buy anything. Just take a look. Take a look for yourself. Uh, some cool stuff down there. But yeah, you can like subscribe if you want. I don't really care. I need to sneeze really bad. So I'm going to head out. Uh, have a nice day.